The SMS Mobile software includes a boundary operation that allows users to create new and edit existing field boundaries. In this tutorial, you will learn about the different types of boundaries that can be saved, how to create a new boundary, edit a boundary, and use other SMS Mobile tools such as Query, Pan, and Measure. To start a boundary, tap the Boundary Operation icon under the Field Operations menu. Select the field that you wish to create and or modify the boundary of and click OK. On the Select Boundary Creation Editing Options dialog, you will need to choose what boundary type you wish to work with. If the field you selected does not have a boundary associated with it, the only option will be to create a new dataset boundary. If you selected a field that you have previously created or imported a boundary for, you can choose to edit the existing field boundary or to edit the existing boundary dataset. If you already have a field level boundary and would like to edit it, you would choose the Edit Existing Field Boundary. The field boundary is used for the Auto Select Field tool and also is displayed in all other operating modes by default. If you only wish to modify an existing field boundary dataset, choose to edit the existing field boundary. In this example, we will create a new boundary dataset. The Dataset Info dialog will allow you to update the general, resource, and container options if needed. Click OK after making any desired changes. The main mapping screen of SMS Mobile will now open where you will begin creating the new boundary. To create a new boundary, go to the Add menu and select the desired tool. You will have the ability to add a polygon, a freehand polygon, or a circle. The Add Polygon option allows you to manually add points that will make up your field boundary. Each time you wish to add a vertex or point, you will tap the Add Point icon that appears in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. This tool is very useful when you don't wish to drive around the entire field to create a boundary, but instead just want to add a few points, typically in the corners of a fairly square field. The Add Freehand Polygon tool does not require you to manually add points, but instead will just create a boundary based on your movements. This is the most commonly used tool when creating field boundaries because it requires no manual input from the user. The Add Circle tool allows you to start at the center point of the circle and travel along the radius to the outer edge of the circle and the software will create a perfect circle for you as you travel. This is very useful when working with field obstacles or irrigation pivots. For this example, we will add a freehand polygon. Choose what input type you wish to use. Use GPS if you have a GPS receiver connected to SMS Mobile, or choose to use Screen if you wish to manually draw the boundary. Click OK after making the selection. If you selected to use GPS, the Start Log icon will appear in the lower right hand corner of the screen. This icon is used throughout the SMS Mobile software and allows for continuous data logging with no other input from you. When you are ready to start creating the boundary, tap on the Running Man icon and begin traveling around the outer edge of the field where the boundary should be. You can also set up offsets if you cannot physically travel around the outermost section of the field, but wish to have an accurate boundary. If you need to pause logging, tap on the pause icon and the tool will pass at the last vertex that was created, but when you tap to start logging again, the software will snap a straight line between the last vertex and your current position. This is very useful if you encounter an obstacle in the field that prevents you from driving the true field boundary. As you travel around the field, the area you have covered will be displayed as a tooltip in the lower left hand corner of the screen. Once the field boundary is complete, tap the pause button. If you do not need to drive any additional boundaries, such as inner boundaries, tap the finish button. By tapping Finish, you have indicated that the current boundary is complete. To exit the Add Polygon tool, click the red X, or Cancel, to close the tool. The boundary has now been created. You can edit the field boundary by going to the Edit menu and choosing to Cut, Copy, Divide, Edit, and Delete Objects. This will help you to fine-tune the boundary so that it accurately represents the field. 
You can also measure the distance between single or multiple points, pan, and zoom to different boundary levels. If you have an object selected, you can use the Query tool under the General menu to view the details about the currently selected object. Click Save to save the new field boundary. You can choose to also set this as the field level boundary if you wish so that it will be used in the Auto Select Field by Location tools and will be displayed when you enter other operating modes. Click Close to exit the Boundary Editor. You have now learned how to create and edit a field boundary and how to edit and query the boundary layer. Please review the other tutorials to learn how to utilize other key features of the software.